Well, day seven is starting really good. That's one of my better shovel, full, shovel one shovel full. That's what I got from one shovel full. Right there. A lot of heavies in this pan. There's about a cup of black sand, three quarters of a cup, cup of black sand, but see that, see that rock right there? This is what I'm talking about, the Mount Bazalm ash. There's a lot of it. See it right there? That's as big as it gets right there. That pebble of Mount Bazalm ash is extremely heavy. That's as big as they get right here. So that's proof to show that the more Mount Mazalma ash that you have in your pan and the bigger pieces of Mount Mazalma ash in your pan, the more of that you're going to get in a shovel full. That's one shovel full. I've done three test pans of it and this is my best one, uh, or not test pans, but three shovel fulls. But I'll show you what the material looks like when I pull it out of the hole. The water comes right here. There's this large rock. And it has like a little little worn out spot on it. I found a nugget right there. I found a nugget right there. And I found a nugget right uh, somewhere over here. There's a big rock right there. And there's a rock right here. But the water comes and cascades over this this right here. This big rock. It's, it's, it's just basically two big rocks right here. And I'll show you what I've, I'm dealing with here. It's not very deep. It's probably about, about a foot and a half deep underwater. Let me see here. It's extremely muddy. See that mud? That's very, very good. Clumps of that gray sand. That's where the gold is at. I don't know how many times I have to have a video of the gold's in the mud and the gray, gray mud. So, we'll just dump that in my my bucket there. Ooh, there's a couple flakes right there I missed. I'm sure there's a couple flakes in there. Maybe a nugget. I don't know. That's why I always try to get it all in the bucket. I put my Angus McCurk back in the river right there. My little trap is just a little bit too hard to dial in right there in that spot. Um, I spent about 45 minutes to an hour building that up for my Latrap the other day. I put my Latrap in and it kind of ran crappy all day long. I just couldn't dial it in. And I just moved around a few rocks here for about 10 minutes this morning. Put my uh, Angus McCurk right there, Explorer, in the river. And I took, a, before I put my sluice box in there, I took some tailings and put it in the front to fill up the holes. It's running still really funky. Uh, it took me a while to dial it in. Uh, it takes. It took me almost 20 minutes to do all that, uh, you know, to get it dialed in. I, I set it in the water. I thought it was good. I set it in the water and just I couldn't get the right direction. You can. I'll show you it later on. It's it's probably gonna run really crappy. I threw some tailings in it just for a second, just to get it level and stuff. But I don't know if it's gonna, if it's gonna capture gold in the front ripple, uh, right in the center. So I'm gonna continue mining here. That was good. That was a good few shovelfuls. Uh, I've done three test pans or three shovelfuls, uh, one shovelful at a time in my test pan, and I've gotten really good gold, probably around 100, over 100 flakes, right around 100 flakes in three uh, shovelfuls. So, and they're big, you know, they're a lot of 80 mesh in there, a few 60s, uh, probably a couple 40s, you know, this. That right there, there. Just one shovel full. That's that's really good just for one shovel full. It's a lot of gold just for one shovel full. That's excellent. But I, I hope I can get more of that big Mount Mazama ash in my next pan here. I'm gonna do one more test pan and I'm gonna start mining. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna test pan anymore. I'm done testing this area. I know that there's good gold. I'm just gonna start running through my sluice box, fast mining it and running through my sluice box. This is Pay Freak Super Freak Prospector Jeremy, and I'm in the Little North Fork San Am River, and I'm out.